Lacrimal Apparatus Anatomy Lacrimal apparatus constitutes of main lacrimal gland, lacrimal passages, puncta, canaliculi, lacrimal sac, nasal lacrimal duct, and accessory gland, lacrimal puncta, located in the inner canthus. Lacrimal canaliculi joins puncta to sac. Lacrimal canaliculi has two parts horizontal, measuring 5 to 6 millimeters, vertical, measuring 1 to 2 millimeters. Lacrimal sac lies in lacrimal fossa. It is 15 millimeters in length, guarded by a valve of Rosenmuller. Nasal lacrimal duct runs from the neck of the sac to the inferior meatus of the nose. It is 15 to 18 millimeters long and guarded by the valve of Hassner. Main lacrimal gland is present in the outer superolateral quadrant of the globe. It is 2 centimeters long and has two parts known as the orbital, which is longer, and the palpable part of the lacrimal gland. 10 to 12 ducts open in the lateral part of the superior fornix and 1 to 2 in the inferior fornix. Accessory glands Gland of Krauss present at superior and inferior fornix of the palpable conjunctiva. Gland of Wolfring present at the free border of the tarsal plate. Tear film of eye. It's made up of three layers. 1. Inner mucin layer. It's the thinnest stratum of tear film. Goblet cells and glands of man's are preset in this layer. 2. Middle aqueous layer. It's the thickest layer. Secretions of this layer has alkaline and salty taste. Aqueous layer contains lysozyme, beta lysin, and lactoferrin. 3. Outer lipid layer. It's the outermost layer having secretions of meibomian gland, zase, and mole glands. Tear film prevents overflow of tears, and tears are eliminated by a pump mechanism of fibers of orbicularis muscle, also known as Horner's muscle. Tears are largely of three types. 1. Basal tears produced by accessory glands of Krauss and Wolfring at a rate of 1.2 microliter per minute. 2. Reflex tears are produced by the main lacrimal gland. 3. Psychic tears, as the name suggests, are generated upon emotional stimuli, controlled by secretomotor fibers of the lacrimal gland, innervated by the greater petrosol nerve branch of the facial nerve. Drainage of tears. Tears start from the upper and lower punctum go to respective canaliculi, and then join at the common canaliculus. From there, tears enter the lacrimal sac, and then to the nasolacrimal duct, which drains the tears in the inferior meatus of the nose. Therefore, any pathology anywhere in the pathway can lead to obstruction to drainage, and the patient will present with epiphoria. Dry eye. It can be caused by 1. Mucin deficiency is seen in vitamin A deficiency, Steve Johnson syndrome, and diabetes. 2. Aqueous tear deficiency, also known as keratoconjunctivitis sica, the most common type. Most common cause of keratoconjunctivitis sica is Jogren syndrome. Other causes are Riley Day syndrome, paralytic hyposecretion, and congenital alacremia. 3. Lipid deficiency is seen in anhydrotic ectodermal dysplasia, impaired meibomian gland. Clinical features of dry eye are irritation, sandy sensation, stringy mucus. Diagnosis Tear film test 1. Film breakup time Done using fluorescein Done using fluorescein dye Normal 15 to 35 seconds Less than 10 seconds depicts unstable tear film. 2. Shermer's test. 5 by 35 millimeter strips of Wattman, 41 filter paper number strip, is placed at the junction of the lateral and medial third of the lower lid. After 5 minutes, the paper is removed and tested for moisture content. Normal. 15 millimeters wet. 5 to 10 mild keratoconjunctivitis sica, less than 5 severe keratoconjunctivitis sica. 3. Rose Bengal staining. Gives three patterns A. Severe keratoconjunctivitis sica, B. 
moderate keratoconjunctivitis sicca, C, mild keratoconjunctivitis sicca. Treatment, artificial teardrop, topical retinoids, and cyclosporin. Epiphora, it's excessive watering of the eye due to blockage or hyperlacrimation, more commonly due to blockage at the nasolacrimal duct, most common in canaliculi. Site of blockage is determined by syringing with water or probing. 1. Syringing Regurgitation of fluid from same side punctum denotes lower or upper caniculi block. If fluid oozes from both puncta, it denotes common canicular block. When there is backflowing of mucopurulent secretions from both puncta, it suggests nasolacrimal duct block. 2. Probing. Canicular block is better assessed by the length of the probe. If less than 10 mm probe, it marks the lower or upper canicular block. If greater than 10 mm probe, it marks nasolacrimal duct block. Note. Hard stop in probing denotes C block. Soft stop denotes a canicular block. 3. Jones test. There are two Jones tests. Jones test 1. 2% 2 fluorescein dye drops are put in the eye, and cotton bud is placed at the inferior metis for 5 minutes. A pathway is patent bud gets stained. In case of blockage, Jones test 1 is negative, and Jones test 2 must be done. Jones test 2. Syringing is done to flush the dye, and the bud is awaited to be stained. If the bud gets stained, pump failure is diagnosed. If the bud doesn't get stained, mechanical obstruction is diagnosed. Nasal lacrimal duct obstruction. It's the most common disorder of lacrimal apparatus. It can be acquired as well as congenital. Acquired nasal lacrimal duct block. It's most commonly caused by inflammation. Other causes can be trauma, the presence of a tumor, or iatrogenic. It's diagnosed by regurgitation on pressure over the lacrimal sac test. Manual pressure applied over the lacrimal sac leading to regurgitation confirms the diagnosis of nasal lacrimal duct obstruction. Treatment. Dacryocystorhinostomy is a gold standard treatment. Congenital nasal lacrimal duct block. It's commonly caused by incomplete canalization of the distal end of the duct. Imperforate Hasner valve. Incidence of congenital nasal lacrimal duct block is 6%, and only 5% have symptoms like epiphora and swelling. Treatment. Birth to one year of age. Krigler lacrimal sac massage, three times per day, up to six months. After one year, probing or syringing can be done. After three years, decryocystorhinostomy can be performed. Decryocystitis. It's inflammation of the lacrimal sac. In children, it's due to congenital nasal lacrimal duct block. In adults, it can be acute or chronic, more commonly chronic, caused by stasis and mild infection. Clinical features, epiphora, swelling below inner canthus, mucosil or pyocele. Diagnosis, regurgitation test, treatment. Antibiotics, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Surgical approach, the cryocystorhinostomy, the cryops. It's a cystic swelling due to retention of lacrimal secretions following blockage of the duct. Miculic syndrome. Bilateral symmetric enlargement of the lacrimal gland and salivary gland. Seen in leukemia, sarcoidosis, etc. Decryoadenitis. Swelling of the lacrimal gland. Palpable decryoadenitis presents as S-shaped swelling. In orbital decryoadenitis, eyeball goes down and in. That's all for the video. We'll see you next time.